all of my friends played for the most part, like my really close friends. I've played basketball since I was in second grade. So, I mean, it's something that, you know, I always didn't expect that I was going to play until as far as I could. How will you take this uh, experience having back-to-back -back state titles as you begin your career with, in the maroon and gold? I mean, I just go, I'm trying to win. So maybe a Big Ten championship. Um, we're just going to try and do the best I can. So. What goals do you have as you uh, start to play for Minnesota now that uh, your high school career is over? I just want to get better as a player, um, contribute to the team, help them get better, move on to some tournaments and do big things. The culture um, of college basketball is definitely diff is a lot different. Um, you know, when you come to college, it's a job. And when you're in high school, it's more as like you do it as a hobby and it's for fun. Um, even though you're, you're still passionate about it, it the, the demands and um, the expectations are a lot different. I think coming in my freshman year, we were pretty, um, pretty successful and, you know, we finished around fourth in the Big Ten into the NCAA tournament. So, you know, I know what it's like to be there. Um, then again, I think we came in the next two years and really struggled and, um, you know, didn't win as many games as we wanted to. So I think I grew a lot from that and learned a lot, um, developed myself as a leader. Um, I think I've learned so much more off the court and going to college than I have really on the court. I um, learned a lot about myself and developing as a player. And, you know, this year I'm just trying to finish well and, you know, try to get back to, you know, what I started with and just leave with good memories because, you know, I, I, you know, stayed home. I love being home and I've had a good experience so far. Probably in the last few seasons, I probably lost more games than I have, you know, my entire high school career. So that was something that I really had to adjust to. And I think losing was the biggest thing. It's hard to lose when you're competitive. You don't like to lose. And, um, you know, trying to figure figure what, what's going on and how to get back on the winning side I think was really tough when you, you're not used to being in that position. Um, so I think I've learned how to handle adversity a lot differently, um, being optimistic, um, always working hard. I think your work ethic is at a whole other level um, because you have to work so much harder to be successful. I definitely think I'm not the type of person who wants to do too much. I think I've got a lot of criticism in the past of not doing enough or being too passive. Um, and so I think that comes from just me trying to be aggressive. Um, I know there's times we have trouble scoring, and honestly, my role in the team is to score. I think me and Rachel, you know, you guys have to score. We, in the Nebraska game, went for like about 10 minutes without scoring. So I think that's where some of that comes from. Um, if we can't get the ball inside, we're dribbling around the perimeter. I feel like a lot of times, like, you know, I might get flustered and I have, you know, a lot of, you know, places to go. And, you know, you're trying to make something happen when you really don't have that much. But I definitely don't think that I'm, I'm trying to do too much. That's not my personality. I want you know, to be mo involved as possible and get my teammates involved and play as a team. Like, that's a lot. I get exhausted trying to dribble around and do, do too much. And I can totally feel it when I'm doing too much. And I'm like, you know what? I, I told coach after the game, like, I feel like I'm doing too much. I'm dribbling too much. I need, you know, we need, we need help. You know, my, my emphasis on doing the little things right is definitely comes from her, from her because she's very fundamental. And, you know, I've changed a lot of little things since I came out of high school. You know, everything's a little more detailed. Being able to evolve my game to do more and be more versatile, be able to handle the ball and shoot and drive and pass and do it right. You don't notice all the misassignments. You don't notice, you know, the little mistakes that add up that makes things difficult for the whole team as a whole. So I think, you know, she definitely sees that side of it. And obviously she's just trying to help me out. But um, I think my thing is, you know, trying to balance being aggressive and, like you said, not trying to do too much. But, you know, I don't think that she tells me to... Um, to limit anything, I think if it's anything, like limit my turnovers rather than, you know, not try to score. Uh, Michigan State played nowhere near the type of defense that Nebraska played. I think they denied Rachel. They made us dribble the ball up with pressure on us, 94 feet. Um, I think there's, there's a lot of different things that go into that. And um, the game we were playing in Nebraska was much, much faster. So, you know, we're trying to get up and down at a way different pace. Um, we're at home, you know, I think there's a lot of different things that play into that and, you know, I just try to be consistent as much as possible, but, you know, sometimes it's tough and we see different looks and, you know, we might struggle with ball pressure or something at any given time. My mom coached me for a long time, so she was my coach. When I, when I first started playing um, for Conway, she was my coach, so. And my dad used to always shoot with me all the time, so. Both my parents, you know, play basketball. My family is very close and they've always supported me, you know, no matter what. I can have the worst game in the world and to know that I can walk over there and they're going to be like, good game. And I'm like, yeah, you know, okay. But I think it, it definitely helps. And I definitely think this, the fan support here helps, even if, you know, our attendance is down. You know, I think we have that core group of people that come all the time, no matter what. And I mean, I, we really appreciate that. After the game, like, no matter what, my grandma's like, you, you know, you're the best. And I hear stories like, it'll be quiet in the gym. My grandma will yell something crazy. 
you know, and just, you know, those little moments like that. And it's so special that you have people that care about you so much. And I also joke around that when kids meet by the tunnel to clap our hands, like I try to clap a girl's hand that was really high and I, <laughs> I missed her but I almost fell on the stairs. And I say like, I'm almost more excited to clap their hand than they are mine in a way. I love to give advice to younger girls or younger players and, you know, coming from inner city and, you know, I have a lot of friends that didn't finish college and um, I just I just want people to realize it's a lot. There's a lot of important things besides playing a game um, that comes into it and, you know, your character as a person and your competitiveness, your passion. Like there's so much other things that play into um, being a Division I basketball player. A lot of my dad's side of the family, nobody's really went to college. So they look up to me like I'm a celebrity and I'm famous and it's the biggest deal. And like to to be that type of role model in somebody's life is like, that's the most rewarding thing for me, regardless of whether I go out on the court and score 22, 26 points. Like at the end of the day, like to know that I have little cousins that look up to me and think I'm so cool because I went to college and played basketball, like that's a good feeling. One of my main goals of coming here is accomplished. So that's obviously a good feeling. Um, I came here to get, to get an education and to finish early, you know, it was fun. And I'm even, you know, get to experience grad classes, which I really appreciate as well. Um, yeah, so to be done, I mean, I really don't feel like I'm done yet because I'm still taking classes and I'm still playing and I'm still in college, but um, it's, it's a relief. It's, you know, I know that the important part and what I came here for is accomplished and at the end of the day, like, you got to be happy about that. You definitely learn a lot about um, what's important, uh, what's going to get you certain places. Um, I'm a communications major, so I learn a lot about communicating with people. Um, I'm interested in public relations, so that's kind of what I want to go towards. So. I study a lot about media, um, a lot of interaction, communication type stuff. So I think I've learned a lot within that business field and I love to talk. So put two and two together and we'll see what, what I can do with it. Central still down by three. They have missed their last four free throw opportunities. Taylor Hill makes Central pay. I am definitely really close with all of them still. Um, I talk to Taylor every once in a while. We don't talk as much since the season's going on through busy, but I mean, off season, you know, we'll tweet each other all the time. Um, Angel, she's one of my best friends, so I talk to her constantly. Georgie as well. I think those are always people that like constant communication, and you really learn that everybody's experience is different. Like I know whether their teams are successful or not. Like everybody goes through ups and downs. Everybody has their own paths, and everything's just so different. You know, in the same you know field of sport, but. You know, everything's different and I think that we've learned a lot, you know, as people and it, it's exciting to see people move on. Like for me to see Angel, you know, go on and, and pursue her after collegiate career was interesting. I really don't know what it feels like not to have the responsibility of playing basketball and going to practice and it's really going to be up to me. Like I can do whatever I want from this point. So I think that, you know, that's going to be the biggest thing, you know, when I'm done and obviously I'm going to miss being on the court, being able to play on TV and being able to play for my family and the fans here in Minnesota. I've been here you know my whole life it could have been better and you know could have won more games but like you said there's nothing you can do about that at the end of the day and in the end I'm happy with, with my decisions and like I said I got my degree um, and I just when I close this chapter I just want to open a new one and I'm excited to you know pursue or experience whatever comes after this.